Yeah, yeah. They don't yeah. think you could do it, but tell you to try when they talk. All I hope had to keep it alive. Spend a day in the Bronx, but you wouldn't survive. Can be low when I pop out, they know I've arrived. I go have conversations with so we gon' tell me pull up and come say what you know. I've been up, I can count all them days in a row. We don't say what we do, we be making the show. They say I'll be the voice of the Bronx. We have Bronx playing with the guys that are out here. Can I get a year? Right where they at, try to diss me, I bet I don't even react Put a show on, I bet you somebody gon' yeah, yeah. I pick me a book up and drink me some water and Invest in the stock, all them on back in Alright, peace and love, well, welcome to another sort of conversation with Zoe uh, This was actually supposed to be a Valentine's Day episode But it just didn't end up happening So, but love is a universal love language And we spread love every day, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment Thank you to everybody that's been with me on this journey um, this is going to be episode, I think, 192, 191, one of those. Mm -hmm. So we're on the road to 200. We're getting there. Um, today, we drill with love and blue flags. Creep. So love, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Introduce yourselves to the world. I know they know who y'all are. Gra, You already know what the fuck is going on. It's the King of New York, Spider Cubs, Batman K, DCK. We outside. Gra, You already know what's going on. Shibby! And it's the motherfucking drill ferry. I think it's safe to say I might kind of be heading towards the queen of New York, right? That's a fact. Uh, that's a fact. Uh, like, I, I mean, that's I what I've been told and right. shit. You I know, it's the motherfucking drill ferry coming out of Brooklyn, Crown Heights to be gra, back. Gra, gra, gra. Gra. You feel me? I'm just, I'm just happy I can get y'all both here. Like, that shows I'm doing something. Yeah, you yeah. Are. Well, Thank me. you, because you. you lit too, right? Yeah, yeah. We outside. We outside with it. We definitely outside with it. Spider Cuz is definitely outside. Spider Cuz is in his own world. Yeah, you are in your own world. Let's talk. Let's get straight to business. Okay, what happened? I've been put you. I've been DM'd you. Yeah. Mad long ago. Okay. You never DM me back. I wanted to work with you from a long time ago. Yeah, we here now. All right. I ain't gonna front. I can't open everybody. I seen your message though. No disrespect. But I this, seen. Well, it. you was telling me that she wouldn't reply. Cause she know she won't reply after I opened the message. That's when she started moving Hollywood. No, I didn't. Cause I'm learning. I'm learning Instagram. Okay, so when you, I think, I think I opened the message. Not, I, I wrote, I wrote back to you. But I'm like, maybe she moving like that because I ain't opened up your message for like... No, it wasn't minute. nothing. It's just All right, cool then. I, I so we let we here. And we here now. having us. We here. Yeah, looking out conversation with Zoe. So, um, it's crazy. My aunt, I think my aunt Debbie went to high school with you. Oh, shit. May have, may not. But she told me something. She said, say this, and she may catch on. She said, I always... I heard you always want to be from Harlem and a part of Dipset. Debbie, Honduras, Debbie. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Look, that's, oh, that's my let me tell you something. That's crazy. Uh -uh. She knew she that's was. my let me tell you. We worked at Key Food together on uh -huh. Fifth Avenue. Uh -huh. Shout out to Key Food. Shout out to Key Food. <laughs> we got a lot of bread out of y'all niggas. We got a lot <laughs> they of still bread got, out of They still got Key Food. Yeah, on Fifth Avenue. And they got they got one in um Bushwick too. All right. I knew Debbie for years and I was obsessed with like Cam is my favorite rapper and right. definitely in my top three. Right. And I fucking lost jobs to go see them perform. Like it was real. I was about to get a tattoo right. of Dipset. Like I think Dipset is everything. My favorite, favorite group of all. Well, they're not a group, but Cam is my favorite shout artist. Dipset. Right. Shout out to Dipset. I ain't going to hold you. Yeah, shout out to DDW yo, holding me down with that one. Debbie, yeah, yo, I love crazy. the Harlem she niggas. There was right. something about Harlem like... <laughs> Right, I'm, I'm just saying I love my Brooklyn niggas Don't get it twisted But right. <clears throat> it's something about Harlem Like just when you Even come up out the train Just the atmosphere It's, it's black I don't know nothing about it's Harlem It's everything It's love it's, I just get a, a It's a vibe Right, you know right, what right. I'm saying? So, I get it What's your favorite both. color? Blue Right What's your favorite food? Who, me? Like what you mean As far as like It's all kind of food Like you talking about favorite Fast food, food. Go-to meal go -to The go-to meal. meal Would be like if I'm like in a, I'm in the hood, chopped cheese, of course, it'll get that. I never or, had one. Never had a what? chopped cheese. Come on, son. I swear, I swear, I like um. It's just hamburger meat, peppers, cheese, and on a roll with mayonnaise, ketchup. I'm a, I like Philly cheesesteak. I fuck with Philly okay. cheesesteak too. So you like a chopped cheese then? Mm, yeah. The yeah, chopped cheese is really good. I fuck with chopped cheese. What's your favorite food? Um, my food. Yeah. I'm a cook. I like like turkey wings. Is my favorite. Okay, fire. Oh, smoked. I like. Potato salad. Like, I like home cooked food. Right, right, right. I don't go to fancy places yet. I don't like fancy. I don't really like them either. You know what I'm saying? They're like, too expensive. I'm trying to eat. You be going there? I go to fancy places sometimes. It depends how I feel. Where? I like, like the last place I went was like, um, I went to Woo Chris. She was like two months and change for the bill. It's like, it was just on a date. It was like for the, like two months and change for the bill. You like, paid? We went half. 
<laughs> he like we were half. The hell, like it was more like we went half. Hell that was yeah. your first date. Nah, that wasn't my first date. We just, oh, see, I know. So you guys have a we had an a, we had an acquaintance. We had okay. an acquaintance. So it's like we don't have an acquaintance. Okay. Yeah. What's your go to drink? I'm Hennessy. a Henny. Yeah, Henny. Henny is Henny. good. I Henny like Henny. Good. I right. with Henny. Condoms are raw. Both, because I have four kids. Right. Sometimes I like it raw. Sometimes I like it. Raw doggity or condom depends. Same shit, different right. story. You know, you just can't be out here running around doing it down. Yeah, right. You want a raw dog do hit? When do one. you, when do you decide to take that condom off with your partner? Like, it's like three months, two months, six months, like, or it just happens. Yeah, that just happens. Yeah, sometimes. it just happens. You might be busting it with the condom on, just slide she off. Like, oh shit, that raw dog she down. Right. Well, that shit might get stuck. It got stuck in me. I it had get to go stuck. Get you gotta it out. go all the way over that bitch and grab that yeah. shit out. You, like, you went to like what urgent care or something? No, nah. nah, that was before urgent care. You had to, he you didn't go the in there and grab it out. No, I was like, mm, I was, I was doing You gotta go, nigga go in there and grab shit out, like, oh, he like stay still. You're feeling like, oh, that shit go crazy. After after sex, I don't want nobody grabbing nothing. I'm gonna grab everything out myself or right. push it out. So yeah. where'd you go to take it out? Or you took it out yourself? It no, I went to the emergency. I go to emergency oh. for everything. <laughs> so I'll be feeling crazy with the and emergency. I just and they just took it out. And they bill yeah. you crazy. No, I got Medicaid. Oh, you get Medicaid. Okay. Yeah, the message, if you don't got Medicaid, bill you crazy. Message. So, what's your message to your ex? Oh, I'm still fucking him, and ain't no, it ain't okay, no okay. message. Oh, right. No, I'm, I'm only playing. Um, my message to him, <laughs> like nigga, look at me now, bitch. You <laughs> left me. I was three hundred pounds. What we doing? <laughs> no, I was, I was a bigger girl. Right. I was right. in a relationship for a long time. I'm free. Look at me now. Like that's what I want to tell him. Like you left me. So you was only three hundred pounds. Huh? You was only three hundred pounds. I was 319 at my oh, biggest. Shit, like, I don't hide that because I lost fire. it naturally. That's good. That's fire. That's good. Mm-hmm. Oh, my pussy f- and everything, my body functions is the same way. Nothing changed. Right, it's not right, right. nothing. <laughs> it's just something I did internally for me. Do you feel like right. you're attracting more men nowadays? No. I, when I was bigger, like, all the guys liked fat girls. Low Niggas people. like thick girls. <laughs> they like fat girls. Niggas like thick right. girls. Thick girls, yeah, thick girls hit thick I was getting more celebrity niggas. And now it's just like, all right, Whitney, right. move on over. Uh. You like big girls? Niggas, cause niggas don't like it no more. It's just one girl that I had on my Instagram, and she was a thick girl, and then she lost weight. She got like skinny ass neck now. She look mad different, and she don't get that much likes no more. See, I'm telling you, it's something. It went from two thousand, three thousand likes to having like a hundred and something likes now. It's like you lost it all. This is not what we came for. We came for the thickness. The yeah. ass. She was a thick girl. She was a thick joint. Niggas liked it. Well, I never and had a butt, so. When when it's bent over, it's lit. That's how it goes. That's the niggas don't, don't have no. And ass. I'm in pain now. I was on a train and I was like just thinking to myself, like, Lord, please hurry up and get me signed. Cause I do want a BBL. My right. ass was hurting. You want a on BBL? The train. Yo, my butt, my bones <laughs> still hurt right now. I'm so like, you must have been sitting on that long ass train. No, I, well, I came from Brooklyn. Okay. That's not oh, a far oh, ride. Yeah, it's not a far ride. My far ass ride. was sore. I was like trying to move, but then I'm watching everybody like making sure nobody nah, opened out get a no cushion gun. Next time. Yeah. Bring a cushion with you on the train yeah. next time. Yeah, I need, yeah, I need a train mean, cushion. I got a flat <laughs> ass. My Yo, I'm dead. Right. It's, like, it's just it's, never going to... There's nothing wrong with... Listen, you got to look at look at the other side of it. There's no other side because it's done nothing it's the, there. It's the, like, no, I'm talking about the other side of it. If you don't have an ass, you have a good heart. You have a good... This you have a good dad. That's how it always go. You might not have this, but you got that. I mean, I got something else, but I'm there just you go. Saying, you feel me? You can't so, see that what right, I got. Right. I this, got special powers that you can't see. See special that powers. that's the special powers. Yeah, you guys both have. Yeah, we powers. got special powers, but those special powers only get released in another time. Yeah. But as far as when you walking in the streets, if you don't have an ass, you consider you saying you don't have it. You got something else. You got looks. You got whatever. Correct? Is not, no. Niggas, niggas don't give a fuck about that, right? Niggas want to see that ass. They want, they want. They want to see them cheeks clapping. Yeah, my niggas, shit don't, it don't even snap. It don't even make a noise. It's not even going like that. It can't yeah, even. Yeah, that shit, that shit, that, that, they don't snap. It's a, it don't even ask me to bend over. I'm just going to just, I You can't. got four kids for a fucking reason. Because what you lack in the back, you pack in a cat. That's what I'm going to go. That's how it goes. What right you then. lack in the back, you the pack hell? in a cat. You got four That's kids and they all look <laughs> amazing. You know what I'm saying? Come on. I got uh, four, four beautiful kings There you here. go. So that's oh, the... That's round, 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 yeah. Yeah, you must My been, shit was yeah. round. It wasn't round. no It wasn't no pure. It was round, round. Yeah, that shit was round. There you go. So <laughs> there ain't nothing wrong with it. Shit, it was... A, was you thick it off back then? Yeah. Yeah, it was that kind of. But thing. you never lose that. You never, never lose, lose the cat, but you lose that back. 
Yeah. Well, and I never had the back. They considered it a back with four kids, though. Yeah. Yeah. So, cousin and I were having this conversation on the way here, right? But for me, if that's who you really are in real life, and you can't hide that behind content. So a lot of people are doing things, saying things, mm-hmm. and being like, oh, it's content. But it's like, bro, you really are like that in real life. So it's like, mm-hmm. that don't count. Like, right. you foul in real life and you being foul in content. So let's it's a foul ass nigga. no longer content at that point. It's, yeah, that's just you. You're just putting shit out. That you're you're really that's just reality TV. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Reality TV is that, you know, if you're a foul nigga, you're just going to be a forever foul nigga. Though. Yeah. That's it. Forever, a dirt boy is going to always be a dirt boy. A slime, a snake, a rat, they're going to always be considered a rat. I be seeing niggas content and I, you know, and I know they really not like that or they really like that. And I'm yeah. just like, boy, goodbye. Yeah, the, yeah, that's a fact. That's a big fact. Like, It's a right to live in your truth, but some, like, you got to separate. Me, I talk a lot of shit on social media. Like, I am like a big shit talker. Mm-hmm. It's true to a certain extent because I feel like in this industry, sometimes things have to be a fairy tale. Even if it's just a portion of it, or you have to extend the truth, because right. nobody's gonna look at you if you just tell your truth. Right. You gotta tell your truth plus a, plus a little bit more truth right. for people to see you. I don't think that a lot of people be capping, right. but that's just life. I be really telling niggas to suck my dick though. No, I'm really like that. Like, but like I said, see the whole a, thing about the difference between spider cubs and a regular nigga is that I wear a mask. So me telling niggas to suck my dick or fuck you and fuck your kid or whatever the disrespectful shit I might think about, your mother's a hoe, yeah, or kind of shit. It. You cannot say that shit regular face sometimes because now it's like you got 50 niggas coming at you. You got to talk to 50 niggas disrespectful, crazy. Niggas is wanting your head. So the mask be covering up is amazing. I be shit talking the fuck out of these niggas. I don't give a fuck. I but I really be telling niggas... I'm really like that in real life, though. Like, without the shit on, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but other than that, I definitely tell niggas to suck my dick on the regular. Like, I can't wait to get my live back on Instagram. Watch, they're gonna be more tight. I'm like that when I'm talking, and, and I'm talking about sex because everybody knows my oh, yeah, yeah, turned okay. from drill to sex. I got you. Right. What? A, yeah, I thought you was gonna bring one up for. I thought you were gonna bring one up for us. I know you should have told me you wanted me. No, we yeah, I, I turned it to oh, a maybe, madam. Oh, maybe so. This is not. This is not the. This we is not. Uh, All right, cool. This is part. This is. A joint, but we we gonna give you your own show. Yeah, yeah we need you know some. Yeah, we need Don't some. Don't worry, right yeah. now we, we we collaborating. I thought I'm like I'm like we about to have this shit Jake in the uh, head. Don't worry, I don't got worry, don't worry. Listen, a lot of people see that's all they think about me. Right, but no. they don't know I be dissing these niggas in these DMs. No, we not fucking. Let mm-hmm. me get that straight. Yeah, yeah, facts. But you gotta have a couple of dollars. That's what I'm just trying to say. I mean, I'm not. A couple listen, of dollars ain't gonna hurt. Yeah, a couple of dollars ain't gonna hurt. But Can't no, we no not broken. fucking. We not meeting up. I'm gonna lie to you. I'm gonna make you book your hotel and never show up. I do this. Damn, this is what I do. Shit. I don't hide it from niggas. So Y'all dumb straight. enough to keep falling for the same fucking tricks, then hey. Shit, what kind of niggas these? these lucky niggas? charms. Lucky charm ass niggas. Yeah. I'm glad I'm not a lucky. Mary Jane was never, she knew that. But I have to be like that because I have to, because of the content that I display, I, that always have to be yeah, another side to Yeah, it's always that mindset. Yeah, to let y'all it. niggas know I'm still like that. Like I've mm. always, been, I haven't been sexual and talking about sex my whole life. I was outside too. Yeah. Right. So don't get it twisted, you know. But I scare a lot of guys off. I'm learning now to tap into my soft ever. ever. Soft yeah, fucking cool. Because right. soon I'm going to be in a wheelchair. Right. I'm old. I ain't yeah. got that much time. Yeah. You, got time. you got time. You got time. You got time. You got time. What's the grace period to date your man's or your friend's ex? Huh? Is there, a, is never, there like a certain a amount of time period. that nah. can pass? I don't do no shit like that. Okay. I so there's no amount of time. There's 20 I never, years, 10 years, 5 years. I, know, I would never do no shit like that. I, I, and even if we're not mans no more. Like, even if we're not mans no more, I still won't look at your ex as my girl. Right. Because I wouldn't want you to do that to me. It's other girls out here, homie. Why you want my fucking ex? What the fuck? What, what do you want her for? Right. Nigga, if you my mans, you, and even if we not mans, you stand on business, you stand on loyalty. I'm big on that. I wouldn't any nigga that I ever knew and came across. I didn't bark on my man's for trying to ask my ex to do a neck brace for him. What the fuck is you doing, homie? What? Like what? Like what? Like you know what I'm saying? Like niggas was doing weird shit. So it's like, no, she can't. And why the fuck you feel comfortable when asking her or dealing with her after I done dealt with that? So I feel like no, 
There's no time limit. There's no nothing. You don't touch my ex. I don't touch your ex. You don't do none of that weird shit. The fuck? I don't disagree because I, I would never do no shit like that. And I've been put in situations where my ex has accused me because of rumors. Mm -hmm. But I'm still getting DMs of my ex mans in my DMs. Like, on some like, yo, I heard y'all not together. Da -da 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 -da. That's weird, though. Mm. That's weird. But I know people in situations, and I know people that's happily married uh -huh. with niggas, cousins, and nephews. It's like, how, and they, they're all family. They, 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 you know situations like that? Like, and they go spend family time together and all of that. Oh, no. So it's like, no, that's, mm -hmm. but a lot of people don't think like that. They, a lot of people think you can't stop love. Yeah, a lot, right. yeah, I feel like they feel like they feel like their love, their ex is your love. Like, I don't right. understand. Like, I mean, if it leads to marriage, I can never really be mad. But eight times, I would say eight times out of ten is not going. It's on. too much pussy. And nah, much I don't. I don't. And if you get married to my ex, you're a fucking loser. Right. Like, what are you doing, stupid face? Like, you dumbass. Like, I don't know. That's no. why I never told my friends. Nah. the niggas I fuck. Nah. I never told. I told them every nigga I fuck was whack. Right. That, that, Bitch, that, you better not. <laughs> that's like a movie, like, right. like, like on some movie shit where your man get married to your ex, like, nigga. I don't. I never heard of that shit. I, I never heard of my exes get married to my mans because these bitches ain't shit. Nah, right. you don't know. It's deep dark secrets in people's lives that we don't know. I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I swear to God, like, I don't think none of my exes got married to none of my niggas. Cause you know why? Cause the niggas that was my niggas ain't my niggas, and then I ain't gonna hear about it. Right. That's the good part about it. But they could be together. You just don't. They know. could. I just. I don't fuck with niggas. I don't fuck with Listen, that bitch. Don't, I don't, fuck with that don't nigga. exist no more. Let's yeah, let's like everything. Yeah, everybody's everybody's EBK. Right. Well, I can't say everybody's EBK. Majority. You got niggas like me. Loyal. You. That's loyal. You. you don't know who I am, but in a sense of a way, the energy is different. The energy is real. So like a nigga, I don't nigga might not know how you look, but nigga be like, nah, son, you fucking. A so like I'm big on that. Like I don't know about EB. I know about that EBK. Everybody. I'm just saying like, everybody. Everybody could get it. Like oh yeah, hell yeah, anybody. Yeah, that's just the day. Like, you know, the day no and age. Hell yeah, I agree with you. Hell yeah, the day and age we living is spiteful. These niggas is they're turning their mother if they could. Shit, <laughs> and that shit been going on. Everybody for self. So for it's self, like yes. yep. So Jewel Ferry, I hear you love having sex with Bloods. Oh. I you, I love having sex with who? With Bloods. With, with blood. Bloods. Yeah. She's, like the gang. Yeah. I never fucked the blood, did I? I don't know. I, I didn't ask this. I don't know. I'm looking <laughs> like, did I ever fuck a did blood? Did you? Like, I don't got nothing against that. That's my niggas. I fuck with them niggas too. Every <laughs> time we don't fuck with bloods when they go to jail. Right. They turn on you real fast. You could be me and Zoka be chilling. I don't think I ever... I probably... I don't know. I probably sucked a blood nigga dick here oh, back shit. in the days. That's crazy. I don't remember. You hear that shit? <laughs> <laughs> Who told you that? No, I just made it up. Yo, you were annoying. She had to go back and think about it, yo. Now, a couple of crip niggas, you know, I don't no, lie. That's, that's, uh, yo, I don't, that, that ain't nothing to do with this shit. Right. So, you know. I got three tweets for you that I found. But you know I don't, I don't know how to use Twitter. <laughs> Wait, listen, but this is old. Okay. But you, it, it's you. Okay. Oh, it's her. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, Twitter. So, asking for pussy and don't have no way to fuck is a mental illness. I hate mm. y'all. I do hate niggas. I really do, because I'm still dealing with getting, I meet a nigga and then come to find out he has nothing to offer. Mm -hmm. I can't go to you. I don't want you to come to my house and fuck. I have four sons and they all home with me. Right. Oh yeah, you definitely not getting none. You not, especially not with my teenager. The oldest one, you ain't getting through there. No, <sighs> even though my kids support me, but nigga, damn, like where we gonna fuck? Yeah, we can't. I, why yeah. should we go get a hotel? That's wasting money. Right. Mm -hmm. What if you got a room? I'll fuck in the room. Okay, cool. I'll fuck on the airbag. Okay. You got a room, you got an airbag. Okay. As long as you got As long as I'm with the nigga and I'm chilling and I'm yeah, good. Yeah, you ain't got to bring him home to see yeah. that. You got to walk through the four kids. Niggas like, damn. Niggas but, like, who the fuck And then this? you asking for pussy, but then you say, yo, who at your crib? Mm. I'm I'm hanging up on you and blocking you forever. And then when he's, and, yo, yeah, there's, like, why you asking who here? So no home, automatic block. No. Huh? No home automatic no block? No home automatic block. A hotel automatic is cool. Block. No, but not like, damn, nigga. I done been in situations niggas invited me to their cribs and they fucking parents or their grandmother was there. Oh, yeah. Like, nigga, like, this is what? Nah. It'd and we like, took them, and, and everybody say, oh, that's because you like younger niggas. Nah, it's the older niggas. It's the older niggas that it's ain't the got their shit together. 
That's what it is. They the older niggas living in the younger age, and the younger niggas is still doing what they do. I know twenty two year olds, but they own condos. But you gotta realize this day and age for these twenty two year olds is different from a thirty something year old now. Right. You gotta realize they had they got a big mound step of stone from what other niggas had and they down and they downtown. So it's like yeah, he's twenty two with a crib condo because this nigga done caught the error. Yeah. He done caught the content error. This nigga done getting fucking paid. He don't go to work. I'm not going he a streamer. to nobody and they fucking grandma Mary is in the fucking oh, yeah, room yeah, I you yeah. Yeah. with the fucking nurse at home bed with the two rails. Yeah, right. the, the, like, I, I, I done walked past the nigga's grandmother's <laughs> rooms to go tippy toe in the bathroom. say, yo, be quiet real fast. Like, no, yeah. no, I don't like stuff like that. I feel you on that. Now, so now I see what my mom used to mean when she said, your kid's going to put you through 10 times worse than you putting me through. I got a son that won't give up. God damn, nigga, baby boy, please just What you mean? Stop. What you mean by won't give up? Like he's just 16. That's all I... Once I say he's 16, you already know He's 16. Know what that means. Okay, what does that mean? Because I was 16 at a point. He's a 16-year-old kid. In this new generation. In this new generation, on top of becoming a man. Okay. On top of... On top of me becoming a single parent. Yes. On top of hanging out with kids that they all think I like. They don't have no, they, they all think about drilling and ski masks and Nike techs. And... It's hard. And I, I, but he's special to me. That kid is the one that I can't let go. Of course. That's the one that gets away with murder. He's That's the, youngest? the one that, no. He's not the youngest. Because I know I have He's the to one you got to keep always looking after. Thank that's you. the one. I have to hold him tighter. That's I have to the grip one. him tighter. Yeah, that's so the one. That's one of the kids. Yeah, huh? like, yeah. I know I probably get shit like, oh, you let him do whatever he want to nah, do and stuff like that. It's just that one. But I just, I got to love him a little different. Of course. So Because yeah. you know why he's the high head one probably. What? That nigga, when I started doing this, he was like, all my pictures down. I'm like, yeah, he's the high head one. Nigga, we worked for Gotti or somebody. I was fucking like, what the fuck going he's, on? He's the high head one. And all the kids, they don't like taking a picture showing their face. It's no more. Is this? Yeah, because he probably running down on them niggas. Yeah. Like yeah. this, like, right. yeah. What well, is? Or well, Spider Cars here, though. Tell him what's it was cracking. Tell him we in the spot, don't make it hot, you heard? Right, right, right. Um, be, being genuine and loyal is lacking. Yeah, it's no more genuine, genuosity, is that right? Genuine people. There's no more genuine people no more. It, I've been running across people that, like, I'm new in this industry and mm -hmm. I done seen the worst already and I just started, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Boy. Okay. Nigga team, nigga teammate will leave the room and niggas are talking about him. Mm. That shit is deep. That's how I don't hang with niggas. That's this this business really made me view my family and friends. Mm -hmm. It just made me look like, damn, we lost it. It's done. Right. And we can't blame the kids, we gotta blame ourselves. Right. Can't blame the kids. Right. Accountability has to come from us at one point, you know. But I, I feel like for me, I we're building relationships. Like this is Spider Cut's third time on my show. I yeah, know, facts. I see. We outside and with so it. dope, like yeah, so I'm sure. dope. You know, I'm so sure. I feel like even people don't value relationships as much as they should. Especially yeah. in this industry. Cause always when you show up for somebody, they're gonna show up for you. You know what I'm saying? Ten and times. you guys will build something together. You feel me? Ten times. We all ain't make it yet. We all still on our way. But I feel like people is um they use and abuse Yo, much. That's what I'm going through now. And I'm going through the fact where people may know I'm special or see something in me, mm -hmm. but they just won't touch that button to give me a go. Of course they won't. But no, I'm but always cheering everybody on. One thing people could tell you about me in this business since I started, I show no, no well, nothing once, but love. But once you yeah. stop doing that, that's when you start seeing your blessings. Remember that. Very tasty, cheesy, onion, all of the above. One word to describe it, scrumptious, right? We from the town, so we just gonna say pause first, but it melts in your mouth. You just love it, you know what I'm saying? I wear this shirt to sleep. How much I love Savage Street Burger, man. It's near and dear to my heart. You see the logo? It's near to my heart. That's how we do it, man. Peace. I trust me, I, I'm learning that as we speak. And let me tell you that, when you stop cheering other people on, only to cheer the niggas that cheer you on that come show up, that pop out for you. You can't cheer the whole world up. Cheer who come support you at the front banister, who you see most. You see them niggas most, that's who you keep going with. Other niggas, they just gonna lap around. It's like a lap around this shit. It's like a run around, like the, 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 you know, the marathon. You keep going and going and going until you hit that first place. Once you get through, you get through. 
Some niggas don't make it. So that's how it go in life. Fuck cheering everybody on. Cheer who you got to cheer on. Your kids, you and your whatever you got going on. Keep it going. I've been in this industry for three years. For going on four years. You know what I'm saying? It's spotty cut shit. Shit real. At the end of the day, you go up, you go down. I did Vice. I did all this shit. Everything get unnoticed. Don't ever... I, one thing about life I realize in life that when niggas speak facts, it, it don't get noticed. But when you start posting bullshit, like... Negative, punching somebody, ass shaking, this get views. This get the views. But when you post something, conversation with Zoe, we got the podcast, whatever, whatever going on, that's just supposed to hit 100 likes, more than 100 likes, right? No, because it's not what they want to see. They re- that's what I'm going through. I had a platform in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Which you still I was, got a platform. Well, my, I have a, had another platform, mm-hmm. which right. I was fucking with the drill kids. Like, I, I would yeah, yeah, fuck okay, a yeah, nigga yeah. up in the street and okay. they'd be like, oh, them little dumbass kids. Like, so it what got, made you stop? What made you stop? I stopped because I just, I got discouraged. And it's not because of the kids. Mm. It was who was behind the kids. Mm-hmm. I was seeing like the labels. A lot of things was becoming depressing. I was dealing with my own personal stuff. Mm-hmm. And everybody was like, well, won't you start something a little bit more raunchy? Because you do, you bring something out of the young kids, the young niggas. Because she was doing that shit with the, the young right. niggas and shit. That's why I saw it. Nobody checked for me. Yeah, Nobody yo, wanted to come up. Yeah, I seen. That's how I first started seeing you doing your shit. you with the young kids. The, the drill artists that I shit. got to come up, mm-hmm. they showed me mad that. love. They said, fuck that, we coming up. But it was a lot of shit going on behind it. Mm-hmm. The moment I talked about sucking dick for three hours. Over. (laughs) I'm the queen of New York. (laughs) She said, that video with that girl said she got the tongue around her dick, all that other shit. That wasn't that shit. 3,000, 4,000 likes. I was on World Star two or three times. Come on. I love the love. Yes, but this is not what you trying but to But love portray. me because I love these kids and I'm trying but to save these kids too. Uh, it's a lot that niggas don't know about me. Right. What you do, Zoe? You do with the kids and shit. Is like, that, like, do that get love? Baby. Do that get love? It gets a lot of love now. It gets a lot of love now, but I'm saying like, if you were to post something rather than, if you post the kids right now, right? All right, you doing the gym shit. But if you post some yeeks shaking right now, what is going to get noticed and what is not going to get noticed? Right. The cheeks is going to get it because this is what this is what Instagram portrays to right. you. It's the yeeks over the youth. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I like that. That's yo. That's and and, the and that's over the why youth. I still go out and I do content, the twenty verses and the smash your past. It's not that I want to fuck with these young niggas. I want to show these niggas that you could trust me. Yeah, they don't trust nothing. We gotta get some, gotta get some content. There. We gotta get yeah, like something. I really fuck with the kids. I'm trying to get a permit to have something in a park for them mm-hmm. instead of them shooting guns. They could do water guns, super soakers, back nap, nap ah, sack yeah. shit, right. shit that we grew up as a kid thinking was. Everything Water balloon fight Summer, yeah, Summertime like, is right there You can definitely Get that going And you be surprised These young niggas In the street It's not even about The drill rappers no more It's about the kids In the street The drill rappers Is just the tip of everything Yeah tip of iceberg yeah. Everybody blames The drill rappers It's really not the drill rappers Nobody knows What's going on In the streets right. The streets the get home. it first They don't have security They don't have protection nope. They don't have a label Backing them up They just got them And they fucking home Cor- Corrupts home Cause Sometimes homes be corrupt but not every home, because I know fucking kids that's I, out here in jail for guns and shit. And they mothers and fathers is nurses and oh, Uber yeah. drivers and they but they don't they're never home. Right. They give the kids time to get into shit. They get but bored. But what if they are home and they still gotta they still be out sucking? My parents was my, my I, mean, I got a, I got adopted. My mom my, Me too. I got adopted, you know what I'm saying? So I was raising my my aunt, she raised me good. Sega, all this other every game you thought about, she had it in there, clothes, everything. We had it all. Food in the fridge. You was good. No, but I want to sell crack. I want to tote guns because that's what I chose to do. It's right. not because your parents or no. your father lacking. No, nigga. Look at you. I don't. I don't have no father, but I became a good ass. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Like, so people blame the parents for everything, and I'm a parent of four. Shit, yeah. And you think that whatever I do on social media is what I do when I'm home, I'm mommy. Yeah, Sometimes I don't even want to talk about that shit. And that's why I don't go out and I don't be in a mix and I don't network as much because I got to show my kids that it's boundaries I respect that, that I got to set. I respect that So shit. I miss a lot. I, I miss a lot. Shit. A lot of this, I could probably been making a lot of money by now. Of course. But I miss a lot because my kids, I'm already sacrificing them looking crazy. Cause they kids, they gon' they got peers, they got friends. I think about this shit every day. Right. So do you do you feel like do you did did, did you ever have like your kids come to you and be like your mom like what the fuck like I didn't like this? My sixteen year old because he's outside. So when niggas want to trigger his emotion, they bring up mommy. They gonna bring me up. 
Got you. He's 16. He ain't going to show me that he love me, but I know he love me. I'm his mother. Right. No boy wants to hear no nigga say nothing sexual about their mother. Facts. Period. Facts. Nobody. But I also be real with him and I'm like, listen. Yo, is that still on? It died. I'm like, niggas is telling me I got a gift, kids. You Let definitely me just fuck do. my shit. We going to get where we got to be. I got to show them that what I'm doing is just not because of clout. I got to show them that I could turn my mouth into money. That's a fact. The right way. This is the right way. It is the right way. I could yeah. talk about a thousand dicks, but this is the right way. This is the podcast. Right. I ain't on the corner. You outside. I fuck right. with your energy. Yeah. That's why we here. If niggas ain't fuck with you, you wouldn't be going up and following. I seen your following was low. And then I'm like, oh, shit, she going up. Yeah, because I'm going to say what people... Do you know how many DMs I get from weird people? And I don't even want to say weird people. Because yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. learning to embrace all different yeah, types yeah, of facts. people. Yeah, right. facts. That's why I'm learning. Pansexual, pandemic, that should all sound the same. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like... But they're like, yo, you make it okay for same. us to feel comfortable right, about right, who right. we are. Am right. I gay? No, I love men. Right. I right. love men. Mm-hmm. But if I got to be gay for that episode to show that gay girl that's in that house that's scared to come out that closet, mm -hmm. if I got to show her that it's okay, then I'm going to be gay for her. That's right. Yeah. If I got to say I want to peg a nigga and bend him over because this girl, that's what she been wanting to do with her husband all year, then I'm going to say I want to do that just to give her that, motivation. That motivation. I can ask you, you know what I'm saying? saying? That's, that's that why I do what I do. you're doing there. You're just... For, yeah. You're just, yeah. I mean, certain things I I, I do. I, I, I am the fucking um. I am the throat goat. Like, let's get this oh, straight. That's throat not. Throat. I don't yeah. fabricate that. Oh right, I fuck with you that. Know what I'm saying that's just me. That's just a gift that my that's mother gave me. The sun <laughs> hit me <laughs> once I was born. A little dick sign came down <laughs> and said, "You are the one." And and I just been the one ever since. But nigga, right. no Neo. Yeah, respect right. me. No, no, no Jet Li. The one. I'm so, what does what does a sex scene look like? With the two of you. Together? Yeah. Man, huh? Oh, shit. He's, I'm going to bully him for like an hour. You know, you know I'm going to have to like... Because he's shorter than me. All right. You can't what? bully me. I'm a Scorpio. You, you could lift me up. Come on, man. I'm a Scorpio. You bugging. You crazy? You can't never do that. I'm dominant in every position, in every way. He like Henny, so I'm... I'm Okay. So a scenario coming in my crib or like or in a hotel or what? Where you want to be at? Are you, are you talking about mask off or mask on? However you want it. That's between y'all. Oh, okay, cool. See, sometimes I might... So a girl, a female like me, a woman like me, mm -hmm. what are you coming as? I'm coming as... I might I might, I might, might like the cosplay shit going on. I might poke a hole in the, the tight, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> poke a hole through the shit, put some sweatpants on, next thing you know. The role play. The role... I, I'm, I'm wearing the whole costume throughout the whole scene. So that I'm going to have to fill on that? No, no, it's going to be a hole through she. Oh, Okay. Yeah, that's what makes it even A big more... hoe or a little hoe? Uh, what you mean a big hoe? You wildin'. King Kong, you wildin'. Don't ever get the crazy. You a big hoe or a little hoe. What the fuck? I'm gonna put a pencil hoe through that shit? Hey. Shit, like a, like a, a bullet, a shotgun hoe. All right, so what <laughs> you wanna be, though? You wanna be in a, a Airbnb? You wanna be, be in a hotel? It, it could be... I like motels. I'm on a picky-ass nigga. All right. I'm so in the ghetto. I'll play. I'll be playing some DMX. I fuck with DMX. When you a piece come of DMX. in, like some DMX. Tim Zorn. Yeah. Tim Zorn. What type of games are being played? How's this going oh, down? Oh, I got some oh, little car vibe going. Right. The Henny going to be on the table. Look, I'm going to do come the on. Henny for you. I got you on the Henny. All right, say that. Yeah. This might be a smoking hotel, so we could definitely probably smoke in this motel. I ain't got the butt. I don't got the, the money for Well, this. I got the this butt. I'm bringing the Zah. I got the Zah. I got the Zah. We got the Zah. Bringing the Zah. But it's all of that is cool, but it ain't going to be no, because I don't like the Talk. I like to right. get straight to business. You like to get straight to business? Because right. you got to go save people lives. So you nah, have they, to they, come they're already dead. Them niggas, I already called out them shifts. So that means your shift okay. is over? The shift been over. It's an all-nighter? It's an all-nighter. Henny going to have you like with... Ten, you ever right, got that? Because you be climbing shit. I'm, I'm not ready for my I'm to climb your knees. cervix. Your cervix might be arranged. So you going to do like the climb on me? I'm talking about... Not even... This is going to climb in you. You eat pussy? How you pussy ass, all of that. Suck toes, you gotta have pretty tough all of those. But how you gonna suck my toes if you, you never know what you never play. know might happen. It might be a transition. <laughs> <You're> like, ah. <laughs> you never know. A nigga might be like on some on some bit of shit that right, right, right. But I'm taller than you. You can't be it's okay, I chop shit down. Uh-huh. You ever got you yeah. ever had a lumber? <laughs> I lumber? chop shit up too. Yeah, chop it up, I chop it down. Then it come back around. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not one of them niggas you be having on these podcasts. I'll be seeing your shit. Yeah. So I'm just telling you right now, I'm one of them niggas that you think you gonna lift me up? Cause I like I like rough I work shit. Out. I, lift, I, I like lift, the, I like a nigga to push me on a bed. No I'm TV. Two, I'm lifting two twenty five. I'm benching. You talking about you tall? You slim, trim like a bicycle rim. So I'm gonna pick you up, toss you around like a motherfucker. We all that shit go. It's like get over there, shorty. Like shut up. 
Cause you smack she cheeks up crazy red because you light skin. But I don't have no cheeks. <laughs> don't worry about it. It's still going to be. It's still going to be ready. It's just only crazy accepts. You're going to be like, damn, this nigga Spidey cousin cracks she cheeks open. Next thing you know, I'm climbing through your window leaving. <laughs> no, like, you're not leaving. I gotta, I'm got. i going to feed you. I like Are you going to feed me? You gonna yeah, because you be saving a day. I'm gonna find, I do save the day, but I, I still got to save more. After I save your cheeks, it might be another cheeks I got to save. No, because once you get in these cheeks. Those cheeks? All right, cool. You those might cheeks. not. You're going to turn back into, uh, what's his uh, name? Uh, when Peter, he don't Parker? Have to, Peter, Peter Parker. Peter Parker. Ah, yeah. I'm a Peter Parker, Parker that dick. You're going to Peter Parker this dick? <laughs> I'm no, this Peter dick Parker right here. I ain't going to lie. This shit hot, ready, low. This is scary. She ain't ready for that. I'm telling you, she's oh, going to be clumped. She's going to be webbed up. But what if you found out I was messing with the Green Goblin? Dude, that's when that's when that's gonna be even better because now you fucking the Green Goblin. Now I gotta fuck you. Then when you go back and fuck Green Goblin, it's gonna be a nice message for him when you go back. So my coochie gonna go. It's gonna, it's gonna do that. Other shit. It's gonna have to. That's gonna be the present that he ain't gonna never expect. It's gonna be shit that's gonna kill him. Everything dead now. You talk crazy, Green Goblin. How you gonna fuck with my opto? That's an opto. I'm just saying, like, cause a lot of these girls, I've been hearing the young girls and like the the girls that's in the videos and stuff. They fuck ops. Well, guess what, Green right. Goblin. That's he, like a normal a, thing he's, now. He's, right. he's, a, he's a he's a he's a he's a bozo. Don't okay. worry about him. He's we good bozo. here. Okay. You need me. You don't need him. Him. <laughs> He trick or you trick? I don't trick. I ain't gonna lie to you. I treat. So where we going? So once we have sex, okay, once are we you have... gonna ignore me? Am I gonna be on do not disturb? It depends how Let you me know because I can sex, move on though, to Batman. After sex, oh, so you can't see Batman, he he touching Robin. See, that's a different story. You like that about if you like that shit over there, that's cool. You like two men on two. What is it called? Cut cut cold? He, oh, Batman is gay? He what he is. I can't tell what that shit on. Oh yeah, yeah, don't want that shit on Twitter. <laughs> is Batman he, gay? Uh, according to him, yeah. According to him to me, yeah, he's a Batimon. I don't want Batman. Fuck so- Batimon. Um, Batimon. His name is not Batman. It's a Batimon. Okay. Batimon! I like Spidey Cuz. Yeah, Spidey Cuz is lit. That's why I'm, I'm not Spider-Man. I'm Spider Cuz. So I'll be smacking the shit out of them niggas. Fuck all them niggas. The DC character. Catwoman, she a hoe. We should have her for a threesome. But you had a girlfriend. You was going with Spider Girl. Spider Baby. Yeah, she was cool. Where's she at? She's in the shelter. Which one? Because I was one. on the one in Junior. Sure, nah, she's in the one like somewhere like Valley. Like it was like it's like no no nothing there. So you was on Junior's, which is kind of cool. But she she's in the shelter shelter. Oh. So fuck that bitch. She good. She but I could take her spot. Take her spot. What's up? Hey. I'm looking for a new spider. Drill Bay. Drill Bay drill 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 or Drill Spider. You know, hey. Spider Drill. You know, yeah. Spider some uh-huh. shit. Again, the air matches go crazy in New York City. I'm looking for one of those. I, I want to get a water bed. A water bed in New York City, though, is going to go crazy. You could put the air matches with water inside of it. Could you? I never thought about that. That would save money because water beds is expensive. I'm like a budget Could queen. you put water inside the air mattress? They won't. You want to try it? We could try that shit. I got one I in the crib. I don't in have a box. Uh, air mattress. I got a whole brand new one in the crib in a box. I'm waiting to do another scene in New York City. We should do that shit. I'm dead ass. Order we'll the costume. This, this yeah. is where we bring the people together. Order the costume. I never did it on the waterbed. Collaboration. You never did it on the waterbed. I never had sex on the waterbed. I ain't gonna lie. I never had sex on the waterbed either. I know this hotel that had one though. I think it was the Galaxy. Oh, I used to go there back in the day. Yeah, man. It's an immigrant. It's, it's a migrant. I'm you from Brooklyn? I'm from the Bronx. Oh, you don't know about the Galaxy. No. What about the motel on Linden? Linden Motor Inn. You in there? Yeah. See, you know oh, what it's the Riviera mirror. Oasis, so Linden Motor Inn. So you went to the one with the mirrors on top. Cross of Bay. Yeah, the ones of $40, $60 for like four hours. No, I know 21 spots. $21 for four hours. $21? On and Herkimer. $21. The 21 spot. That's crazy. We used to have to stand up because they looked like they had bed bugs and shit. Mm. Oh, so it's really bad in there. Yeah, we used to just stand up. I mean, it's not twenty one dollars no more. Twenty one dollars. <laughs> it's not twenty dollars no more. Yeah. <clears throat> That's what I paid for because I cop pocket the other money. Right. So you think it's twenty one dollars? Nah, no, no more. Now it was eighty shit. probably. probably one twenty a night. Yeah. Right. So, what's the most toxic thing you've ever done for love? Damn. Um, a lot of shit. Talking about, so. Fucking um everything. What like toxic for love? Um hmm. I ain't really it's like toxic for love, like for love though. Like yeah, for like love. For like, love. like let me love, see. Like the person you love, like yeah, yeah, for love. Or, like I probably whatever, like I climbed through a window once. You climbed through a window, I probably fucking That's went through nothing. her phone. I was holding guns. I went okay. through the phone. I, I probably went through her phone with some shit. Nothing too crazy. Is it for love? I, 
Did I have a... I act pregnant for like six months. <laughs> Almost had a baby shower. Oh, shit. What? You are annoying. What? That's... And then I made it seem like... That's crazy. <laughs> then I made it seem like... What? It came out the toilet. <laughs> for real? And then I had to think like, Yo, bitch, you got kids already. You know crazy. at six months, that's a whole baby. So what happened? So how, so how did it like... So what did he say when you told him that it came I out? I just knew he was cheating on me. I'm going to be like, we women are dumb. Like, right. women do anything for mm-hmm. Got you. love. Like, I'm a woman, and I did a lot of crazy shit. And mm-hmm. I knew he was cheating, and I knew that me acting like I was pregnant. We keep him, we keep him. Like, keep him. And mm. it still didn't, but I tried. So what did what happened like when you told <laughs> Yo, shot. this is crazy. <laughs> <You're> fucking <laughs> shot. Like, what? Okay, <laughs> so that is true. Yo, that Dude, nigga what? was rubbing my stomach and everything. For real? Give you kisses. I was pop locking. He was my like, so it could look like the baby was. So what happened there. when he would yeah. leave? Like, what would you do when he would leave? Like, what was the situation? Like, how would that occur? Like, how, when he called I wasn't how, six months, but I, I act like I was till I was like maybe four. So hold on. So he would act like how the baby doing? He'd be like, yo, you got Gag, kisses and all that. No, I'm talking about pregnant. I know. I'm just saying, like when he would come around, like here, bro. No, because he was still cheating, so it didn't oh, he work. More attentive. Yeah, he was more attentive, and Crazy. I was like, "Oh, I'm carrying so good. Mm. You can't even tell like that." I did that twice. Twice. The second, this first time, I said I had twins. To him. <laughs> He's a dumbass. Yo. <laughs> I was pregnant. <laughs> I was. That nigga's like, a dumbass. I, like, I was pregnant, like. Mad what? Mad. He believed that she was <laughs> Yeah, because when we get to an argument, he'd be like, you the only dumb bitch that want to be pregnant 27 times. Yeah, this nigga's a dumbass. He was like, damn. That nigga's probably looking at this shit like, I yo. I did mad crazy shit for love. I faked a seizure. What? So he wouldn't leave. <laughs> for real? The same nigga? The same one? Yo, he... I was with somebody for like 15 years, 16 years. Oh, okay. Years. It's the same, the same person we're talking about right now. Yeah. So he was I in had... love. You was in love. Yeah. I fucking faked the seizure. He still left. The nigga, nigga said he still <laughs> left. Yo, she's annoying. He I do garbage kids at him outside. He still left. Yeah, I picked them bitches up. The garbage kids that be on the corner. Yeah. Right. Yo, she said he still <laughs> left. Nigga said that shit don't be done no more. You gonna fake a death? Yeah, like nigga bitches died. be getting BBLs for niggas like, bitch, I just threw myself in front of a car for him. For and real? He, and he walked over me. <laughs> nigga, oh my uh, God. She's annoying. I hope like, you know, for real. That no, did. like... That nigga is really a trifling ass nigga. Oh, but that was somebody that I loved. Yeah. He I never did that with another nigga. If he was to come back, no? I can't. Come but on. I find myself mistreating men now, and it's wrong. Right. Mm. I have a hate towards men right now. I mm. love niggas, but I hate them. Like, I have a blockage up, so I'm temporary. So I, I might talk to you today and tomorrow. I was like, why did I even waste my time? Mm. Cause I, I I feel like I've never felt that love like yeah you feel like it's like a like my homegirls call me them bitches is in love and I just be like bitch I don't even want to talk I, I gotta go yeah like bitch but I want that feeling low key yeah. I'm, I'm hating on them bitches them bitches be like bitch you're about to go up you're about to fuck every fucking rapper every content nigga I'm like damn. And I'm like, you stupid you want my life and I just want one good nigga to love me right and they don't know that that's though. crazy that's sad yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna find them. He's coming. Whether he the father, the uncle, the son. He's coming. I take him all ages. Right. He's coming. You got He's you. coming. He's coming, man. He's battling. He's coming. Like, nigga, whoever you, whoever you, did, like, he might be here. He might be here. Would you two start an OnlyFans together? Yeah, definitely. Because he don't take I, his stuff off. I had an OnlyFans, so that shit was lit. You took your clothes off? That's when I was regular, yeah. I, I just set up an OnlyFans the other day. I'm waiting for them to approve because I had to put my credit card information. Uh, OnlyFans go crazy. I'm ready. Is the OnlyFans like really going to be like ex- like crazy, crazy? I'm going to do, I'm, I can't really say with whom, but it's a popular um, young porn star. And I'm going to do reactions with him on his porn videos. Wow, oh, that's fire. That's actually fire. I don't want to take off my clothes. Like I said, like, yeah, it's yeah, one thing to talk crazy, but it's another thing to see your mother. Right, right, There right. you go. And yeah. that, to see it, mm-hmm. you know? I feel you on that. So and I feel like you're doing that as fire. He really, he, he be really helping me in the business and shit and like, yo, you can make money with your avenue without even Hell taking yeah. your clothes off or, mm-hmm. or sucking dick. Mm-hmm. Right. You can make mad money. 
Because there was that's another spec coming. Yeah. You don't gotta do all of that to get to where you need to be. And that's for you. The niggas be trying to talk to me, but right. I'm famous Nick rappers and shit, but I don't you can get that. that no yeah, you can get that all the time. Oh, yeah. It's crazy because all the famous rappers, all of that shit, all of blue checks, I don't mean nothing. I could find the corniest nigga and be watching his page every day. Right. And I'll be like, what the <laughs> fuck am I doing? <laughs> right. page every day. I'm not yeah. ready to live that life yet. Right. I feel you. If your sexual history was documented in a file, what would it look like? I'd be getting death row. If the sexual history was marked <laughs> in a file, I mean, I would do some shit. So it'd probably be not death row. Nah, I'm putting it probably I'm be like a lethal injection. It'd probably be like a, a, a probably like a not death row. Probably like a twenty years sentence. Exclusive with well, some I'll, life. I'll definitely be on the history with some channel, life my old shit. ass. With some life at the end of this shit. Some shit. Twenty years, probably, hit, nigga, you might history? get hit with life. <laughs> I might go down. Yeah, go so down. If it was like the Carfax, you know what I'm saying? Hit oh, no, no, nah, nah, then wouldn't be that happened. crazy. What would it look like then? She had a she had a really sturdy car. Right. That shit that bitch banged up, but that bitch, was, that bitch is the That was bomb. the motherfucking that Lambie. That shit came right, right through. It'd be a Lambie, like an accident type. That car facts right. I'ma get it. I'ma get yeah. I'm getting so Right. No, the car facts put <laughs> That's up. that everything good is car. Working. Everything yeah. is everything. That was that, yeah. Yeah. Everything is insured. Face. Right? <laughs> everything is insured. Look at the fuck. Everything is I mean, like, I don't have a Listen, I fuck niggas when I, I, I'm 43 years old and mm -hmm. I say this all the time. God like, bless. You look amazing. Thank Appreciate you. I was outside. I mm -hmm. was promiscuous because I wanted love and I thought that was love. So I mm -hmm. fucked a lot of niggas. I am not ashamed to... This is my story. People be ashamed to say this. It story. is what it is. Right. Like, they mm -hmm. don't... Like, you know what I'm saying? So right now, I could go months without having sex. I don't even think about it no more. Yeah. And I kind of... I'm kind of glad it played out this way in my life mm -hmm. because... I'm older now, and now I know what I could genuinely look for. That sex is really not everything. Right. Yeah, temporary. facts. It is. It depends. It depends. Like it depends. Like if you with nowadays, it's like yeah, it is. Like it just come and go sometimes. Like then you'd be like, damn, why do I even have sex with that person? Yeah, like why do I even I fuck that person. I don't knock fuck. none. Nobody. Listen, do you and live your life. Mm -hmm. You gotta repent, and you gotta deal with that shit in the aftermath. Not us. Right. I'm writing my wrongs, but I'm never gonna write my wrongs with sex because I did what I did and I'm gonna stand on it. Like right. it is what it is. Right. It's either you gonna fuck with me, I'm gonna tell you my past. I fucked with niggas. Mm -hmm. You probably know one of them. It is what it is. Yeah. You gonna fuck with me or you not? I'm a loyal past. bitch when mm -hmm. I love you. I'll do anything for my nigga. I know how to please niggas. I know how to make niggas happy. I could keep a nigga laughing and mm -hmm. I could keep you motivated. That's it. Right. You go choose the new bitch that don't know nothing that's going to meet the next nigga like you and jump on his dick and start fucking every nigga that's, that's like go. you. That's or you could it. stay with a bitch that been around the block en enough to know her rights from wrongs. Period. Mm -hmm. Period. That's how I look niggas at it. Niggas don't be looking at you like right. that. They be how, do you, at how do you feel about dating in 2024? Horrible. Or refill? I ain't Horrible. been on a date in over a year. Right. I went on a date recently. Horrible. Horrible. Bad. Now that Spider Car is regular. Bad though. I mean, regular? I, have you been on a date at Spider Cars? No. Nah. Okay. No. Nah. Girls be like, you really gonna come on a date with me? Good. You gonna come on a date with the Your best? voice? Nobody noticed your voice when you were in regular? Oh yeah, of course they do. I be keeping it low though. I try to keep it low. They be like, yo, you sound familiar, bro. You sound familiar. You like Spider Cars. I'm like, yeah, nah. Nah, but I did. I went on a date recently. Fuck that bitch. Over that bitch here, it's a little free eating on a date, having ass. Where you took her? Went to some fucking Korean barbecue shit. And I didn't even want to go to that shit. Because it went to Sweet Chicks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then okay. she like, and she wanted to get on the train and go more stops. Shorty, I didn't come here for that shit. Right. I came here, I thought it was near. It's not near, what's around here? Oh, you want to go here? Because you know the shit, I need to build like a bug of some change. <laughs> I said, yeah, and she didn't give me no yeeks that night. Mm. To my oh, if I get one more drink, I get loose. Mm. Bought the bitch another drink. Pardon my language. <laughs> the bill came up to more. <laughs> then, I, then on top of that, right? We in the crib. Shorty act like 
Like, you don't know what's going on after this. Like, <laughs> like you know you go to the like, crib. Like, go in that bathroom and wash it's that like, pussy. It's like, go wash your ass. Let's get it. Like, you act like you sit on the edge of the couch. Like, why? shorty, I just paid a bucky for this bill. Like, I didn't even want to go crazy because you can't go crazy. You got to right. relax. So I, I'm more like the nigga that if you ain't making a move, I'm not making a move. I'm chilling because I don't know your energy. Right. I ain't want to rub up on her and rub up. Yeah, bitch, I was going to do that, but I'm like, nah. She so did she sleep over or she left? No, she, I went to her crib. Okay. Mm. So did you sleep over or you left? Not left. Nigga. That Uber was like $50, though. That mm. was far. You did all of that for no pussy? That's crazy, though. And I learned life, though. I always live life like that. Sometimes, like, when you live life like that, you like, you know what? This bum bitch needed it. I, I I know for a fact that niggas would be like, yo, bro, I came in for no reason. I ain't get no pussy, bro. I just spent like a buck or some change. Yeah. But look at the logic of this shit, though. The logic of this is that I spent a buck, went to her crib, didn't get no pussy. She lied to me. She get Nikki over another drink because you needed another drink. At the end of the day, you just a bum ass bitch. And I feel like you do this often with niggas. So I'm like, you right. just go on dates with niggas. She's like, yeah, I'm single, man. She took pictures of the food. She took pictures of all that, videos of all that. That's how you know. She, I said, she's like, yeah, yeah. She's talking to me. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, bitch, you act like you never been to a place where you... Because she knew that bill was going to come up crazy. Did she go live at some point? No, she was on her phone. She was on her phone. I, had, I got three phones. Your little ass phone that you on, you got one phone. Bitch, why are you on your phone so much? I got like three phones. That's, That's disrespectful, too. Yeah, I... Yeah. I I don't like that. Did so, you check her? Did you change her? Of course I checked everything at that table. I said, first of all, I don't take girls out on dates. I said, and that's probably why she felt like how she felt because it wasn't like a bad check-in. It was more of a awareness of who you're dealing with. Right. You're not, I'm not one of them niggas that you're going to play with or like right. think you're going to go to... You're going to get a free meal. Cool. Because I'm like, you want, like, how we doing this? We're going to have? She's like, I never had anybody... Say that to me before. Well, bitch, it's a new year, new day. I'm going who you dealing with. You can go half, you can't go half. Say that. Cause you was requiring lunch. We should get lunch. We should get lunch. Then man, you got lunch money. <laughs> the fuck going on here? Don't ask for dates when you going on dates and don't got nothing to offer. Like you cannot say you want to eat lunch and you don't have lunch money. And you ain't got no lunch for me to snack on. Right. It's not even a snack on. <laughs> I mean, nowadays, I don't want to give a fuck about your tuna can right now. Shorty, you got what you got to offer now? Yeah. Now, and same vice versa. These girls want to hump around, dump around. You don't have nothing to offer. Guess what? I don't have nothing to offer either, Shorty. Are, are the expectations too high nowadays? Yeah. Well... It depends. These girls nowadays, I, I tell you, I tell you no lies, son. I tell you no lie. So I don't be dealing with these expensive people, bitches now. The people that expect too much, mm -hmm. they don't get that because there's nothing to expect. Like right. and, they, and they don't. Everybody's standards awful. are just at the same. Everybody has the same standard. Mm -hmm. It's right. crazy. Right. That's, That's social media doing that. Right. Social media made it like bad, especially for relationships too. Relationships was too. Like, because can... social media fucked up people's inner selves. Yes. So it's hard to even have a relationship if you fucked up. Because right. it's like you getting judged already. You feel like you don't like this picture. How this picture look? Or yeah. who going to like it? Who going to share it? It's like... Or they want niggas that they see flashing money on the females. Even older. Like this does not apply to young bitches. I be mm. around older women mm. and they're right. fucking more... Obsessed with niggas like that than the young girls, and it's like, damn, bitch. He, do you know that he has nothing? Right. He's broke. broke. They don't know that though. It's a facade. And and I don't fuck with niggas like that's the niggas I don't like. I like the niggas that that don't like. They gonna keep it. So real you, with you deal with a working nigga. Yeah, I deal with a nigga that's even looking for work. Mm -hmm. Cause you could build with a nigga like that. As long as he got good motivation and ambition, you could build with a nigga like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's nothing I won't do for a nigga that, like that. But I gotta see him trying. Mm -hmm. right. And I fuck with a nigga with a nine to five too. Cause that showed me stability and responsibility. That's right. what that showed me. Mm -hmm. And I fuck with a, a a a drug dealer too, cause that showed me courage. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. So it's like I have different. I don't. I I never have a type. I never have a type. So a nine to five is cool. Yeah, it depends on what I want at that time. 
Yeah, you. Want I might want a street nigga that's hustling, that's on the grind, like he don't give a fuck. But he he make moves in the middle of the night. That's beneficial to me because I got kids, so I might fuck with him at this time. Mm -hmm. You know, it's different. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. But I don't want that. I want everything in one now. So maybe right. my expectations are too high because right. I want that in one. Right. Yeah, yeah, I just feel like expectations are too high. Like as far as like, like me, like I don't, I don't look for nothing that I can't encounter. Like if I can't, if I'm looking for a female that got a fat ass or got a slim ass, whatever, whatever I'm looking for. Like if I'm dealing with a chick that got money or that's dealing with a chick that's about her back, I gotta be the same way. Right. I gotta be on my bag too. I gotta be my money too. I can't be looking forward to you guys. I'm, I'm trying to use her or something. I'm on my it's shit. not that, but a real woman is gonna understand that. I, me, I I know I I I I'm 43, so I know men. I know men, and I could usually Excellent. typically spot them out if if somebody is capping or if they have it or if they struggling or if they, you know what I'm saying. I could usually spot them out. It's just, it's about honesty. I like an honest nigga. Like, right. you ain't got to have all of that shit for me. I still take the train. Right. Nigga, if you take the train, fine. What car are we meeting in? Right. I like that. The Somebody asked me what I get mad at over a date at McDonald's on another part. I, I absolutely would go on a date to McDonald's. McDonald's. I love McDonald's. Because who's to say he ain't a millionaire? Who's to say he don't even own that McDonald's? Right. It could all be a test or a stepping stone. That's so how you test the gold digger or test yeah. anything like right. that in life. That's, That's how I know my next one going to be my best one. My mm -hmm. next relationship is going to be my best one because I'm not searching for it. Yeah, it's going to land on your life. And I'm starting to realize that what I've been looking for probably don't exist. Right. It exists. This is probably doesn't exist in some of these niggas that you're looking for. It exists in a different, in your, it exists. And in, and, and it don't, and it, it doesn't exist in your environment. Oh yeah, definitely not in the environment, environment, no. Rich white women, <clears throat> they want rich white men, right? Well, they just want black niggas and they want no, to fuck. it don't, that's what they want. That don't exist in their environment, so they never get it. They got to go It's the same shit for us. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. Makes sense. It makes total sense. Mm -hmm. Now, it's good when you put it that way. And then with, with all of this stuff going on, uh, we're not going to speak on those people. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to kick people while they down. Mm -hmm. Right? But no means no. You feel me? And I feel like, speaking for men, um, you got to keep it player sometimes. You feel me? And sometimes you got to keep it cool and see how things play out. Yeah. You feel me? Facts. Um, 2017, I was in Miami for, for, my, for my cousin's wedding. And I was with this little fire team from Toronto. We met in a club. Right? Now, for a meeting in the club, she's like, yo, I want to go swimming. Hmm? It's three in the morning. I'm oh, like, man, that's crazy. So <laughs> it's a pool at, it was a pool at her hotel. Mm. It's lit. Let's make it happen. I'm with oh, it. Oh, that's what I see. Look it, right? So I'm like, all right, bet. Here it goes, Zoe. Boom. Jump in the water while we vibing. Cool. Next thing you know, 5 a.m. So she's like, yo, listen, just spend the night, go home tomorrow. I said, all right, cool. Mm -hmm. Right? Bro, we get upstairs. A roommate and her shit bust. So I'm like, oh, it's about to be lit in here, right? This and she's shit. like, yo, listen, if I see you tomorrow night, it's lit. At that point, bro, I just flew into Miami that morning. I was in, I was drinking all day, Fat Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm smack, saying? I just yeah. want to go to sleep at this point. Yeah. Cool. I went to take a shower, came back, laying in the bed. And 40 minutes later, it was her move. She made the move. Mm -hmm. But it's like some dudes would have turned up in that situation. Oh, yeah. I see you, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They you know what I'm saying? Mad. Like, they that would have been a whole... Yeah. At that point, it's like, bro, she bought me a bottle of Henny in the club. Mm -hmm. oh. When she did that, I was going to leave the section. Like, yo, bro, I got to yeah. go. Niggas, I'm not paying for that. Like, that. Like, that's, a, that's as much money I brought out here. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, in one night? Nah, you're not doing that, though. And she put out the car, pay for it. I'm like, oh, I'm right here for the night. Yeah. I'm with shorty tonight. You know what I'm saying? I live a weekend. Great weekend, but I feel like had I been the opposite, it would have fucked everything up. Oh, yeah, you'd have been, nah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I just kept it cool. And to be honest, in that moment, I was just tired. I'm like, you know, I'm going to sleep, man. Fuck she it. didn't see it like that. She's like, damn, he on some. He on some nice shit. Yeah, like, yeah, where are he been? He's just tired. He's just tired. I know right. you know you could fuck me. I right. know you know you could fuck me. Of course. Me. Right. 
But the fact that you're not even pursuing it, you're not even... Yeah, that's how you like, got to move. Yeah, you got to move like that. I hate that. Like, niggas texting me. The first thing you saying is, them niggas be on you, right? You be talking crazy. That's like, bird damn, shit. nigga, like, bird. You corny. You can't say good morning. You so can't now say I'm going to play with you like you a bird. I'm going to oh. treat you like that. You can't say good morning. You can't say good night. You just on some other shit like that. So that's like when girls tell us that we got hoes. Same thing. Yeah, same shit. Like, I don't want to hear that. You got hoes. You got right. this. Like, no, no. what if I want you to just be my hoe? Right. Big say thing. something to me. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, but sometimes they don't know how to say it. Right. They 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 fuck they they say some shit and fuck it all up. Right. Like but, nigga. But you see that that goes to and, and I don't want to sound I'm I'm only 31 so I don't want to mm -hmm. sound like a old but I came up I'm I'm glad I'm a I'm a early 90s baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cuz this is before the internet. Mhm. Mm this is when you outside, you got a pen and paper, you approaching girls. Like, girls don't understand that we none of us you don't got a phone either. No. Feel me? So mm -hmm. you respect this pen and paper. Yep. Feel me? And this pin right here mm -hmm. is the one, right? <laughs> this this is, shit gonna get me that's a to the promised land. Mm -hmm. yeah. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And it's, it it was this little two dollar pin is the most valuable thing that I need right now. You feel me? Where's he gonna write on my hand? That's on a, my. You know yep, what I'm saying? Yep. So mm -hmm. I feel like now shooting your shot is sending a DM, like having the courage to press send, but they don't With know anything. what it's like to just yo, how you doing? How you doing, Miss? How's everything? Da -da -da, whatever. That's courage. Yeah, I, I like Sending that. a stupid ass DM is not courageous, yeah. bro. I mean, it it does take some courage. It does. But there's nothing like in person energy. No. You look flustered. You late. You late to work. You got shit going on. Yeah. And I'm telling you, take 30 seconds of your time. Uh, and I got to say something for 30 seconds that's going to be like, all right, bet. Let me give this nigga a uh, minute of my time. But if you walking, that's different. But if you socializing, that's why a lot of people do online dating. Because online dating made it to where it's like, you don't get no rejections. You don't care if the person unmatch you or say no because you might swipe and it might get a I bad like job. I I would respond. I would give a nigga my number in the corner store. Right. I just met a nigga. He was a fucking firefighter. Mm -hmm. mm. Really didn't even know. Came in the store by my house. Paid for my stuff. That's by fine. the time I'm looking to tap my card... And he like, where you from? Did it didn't say nothing. And he, guess what? When I got home and we was texting, I'll show you. He was like, yeah, I know, I know you drill ferry. See? But he never brought that shit up. See? Right. That's that's how you know niggas is watching. Yo, what's your number? Da -da -da in the store. Then a nigga DMing me. First of all, I don't even know who I'm DMing. So now I gotta think in my mind if you even that person. Right. Mm -hmm. Cause so now my thing is I FaceTime everybody when you give me you your got number. To. Right. Mm -hmm. When you DM me, I'm FaceTiming you. Right. Fuck the calling Because I want to hear kids in the background I want to see what you're doing I want to even see if you answer Because nine times out of ten You don't answer Catfishing? You got a bitch You, you got to text me time. forever at a certain right. time, I don't yeah. like I don't even like texting oh, when they do I like to call I want to hear your voice mm -hmm. I want your voice to get me intrigued Right Texting is not going to keep me intrigued yeah, it's not I want to hear it I want to hear the passion that you like me Right yeah, so, much you want, so much the reason why I feel what you're saying. Like, I don't want to text all day. I hate that texting shit all day. Get on the phone, FaceTime, but you got really something important to say you a call. Right. I hate texting. And people say, oh, because you old. That's for seats. That, they trying to like keep that. receipts no, and that shit. That's receipts. That's for seats. You know, all of that shit could be used again. It's receipts, can... but I stand on business. So guess what? Yeah, it's receipts. They nigga, I coming. might have sent you that same picture, you that same picture, mm -hmm. you that. I, I keep my shit official. Mm -hmm. like, I be bored. <laughs> nigga, I don't want y'all. I'm buying time. Right. Buying time, killing time. They don't right. see that though. They be like, oh, she want me, she feeling, she on. And then when people really be around me and my son is in the background, he can tell you like, I'm such a different, I'm so different. Like, mm -hmm. right. I be wanting to stay home and fucking cook and bake. Right? Right, Michael? Right. Like Betty Crocker type shit. Right. Taste this. Go get this. Let me go to the store. I'm going to the store every five seconds. I go to the store. I talk to everybody outside. If that chef and shit, I, should, I, should, I, should, I love cooking too as well. Yeah, you like cooking. Hell yeah, I love cooking. I love the, I'm very You should picky. be a chef. I'm very picky on food. All my exes never don't like cooking me. You gonna have to cook for me. No, they never used to like cooking for me. They feel like I'm scared to cook. Cause they got comfortable me. with you cooking. No, cause no, I am a chef. Like I'm really strategic on food. Oh, so you like, I don't like I don't I I judge like this one of my ex he made like supposed to be like a burger, but it was like spaghetti balls. Like no, I just got upset about that shit. Yeah, I like What the fuck is you like, do? What is this? 
Right. Let me next time. Let me cook, cause you did some fuck shit, and I just and I you know what what she never cooked for me again after that. She said, right. I definitely got to see y'all collab more. No, we definitely that, gotta, that's how I met yeah, each other like, in person for me. Cause it's like we got the same type of energy. We we know how to tone it down, but then we know how to turn the fuck up. Right. I want to do a skit with you where, um, we could do a fast two where I'm upside down. It's still is that? It probably does. Cool. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. As long as it dies, it's not gonna recap. He said where he upside down. Upside down, and I got an extra mask in my car in the car mm-hmm. where you could take the mask off and you'd be like, what the fuck. But you would, it, it, I would fix it perfectly. I'll be hanging upside down from the light pole. I do all this all the time. Right. Same shit I always do, but it's different because you're in the skit. Right. So let it probably be like, like yo, you know, I'll probably say some hot shit. You'd be like, yo, who the fuck is you? Like, I want to see who the fuck you is, ah, whatever, whatever. And when you took off the mask, it'd be the same mask, obviously. I'm ready. And right. I, I, I and do you, the and then, and then you would say, like, probably whatever you say, like, what the fuck? Like, like, you know, like, I don't know. Why is your fucking penis upside down? I don't know. Some shit, whatever you feel. I like. could say something. Right. But, you know, as long as we ain't getting no fucking disabled, okay? All right? We done? Yeah. We no, done? no, no. Hold on. Oh, hold shit. On, what to on. say? He's got nah, quiet. The, the iPad is closed. But listen, we, we, we're coming to the end. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I definitely want to thank you guys for your time, your presence, your energy. All that shit. All that shit. Get out, get out. We out fucking side, you heard? But, um, let us know where we can find you. Shout outs. Oh, yeah, facts. Platforms, whatever it is. Spider Cause. Business ventures. Spider Cause on everything. Except for Twitch, the real Spider Cause. But everything is Spider Cause throughout the fucking world. You could Google Spider Cause, look at Spider Cause. I am Spider Cause. <laughs> and I'm the Jewel for every, everything. Y'all could catch me. I got a couple of little surprises coming up. Um, mm-hmm. I'm just trying to find my way in all of this. And right. I work with everybody. I fuck with everybody. But I got a couple of little surprises coming up. Um, I'm reaching more now to different states mm-hmm. and linking up with right. people that's like me. Right. That's how I am. Like me. Right, right, my right. soul. Like mm-hmm. that. You right. know? But you can find me on... Where you can find me? Cash app. Fuck that. Tell your supporters. Cash app her. I need a couple of dollars. Need some bread, nigga. Y'all niggas ain't talking about that. The Drill Ferry 718. If y'all want to get on the Drill Ferry podcast, I got to pay too. Fuck yeah, I get too. We gonna talk you got to pay? We going to talk about I gotta that. Pay too. I got to pay too. We got to get the brakes going. Yes, man, but listen, man. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment. Go follow my guests. You know what I'm saying? Yes, y'all, sir. Y'all now, well, you're an alum already, but now your conversation was all alum. Thank Super you. Super grateful for your time. I'm saying, and it's up for all of us. I'm saying, anything I need for me, support other guests, anything I connect for y'all, y'all have events, I pop out for y'all. Feel me? But y'all definitely got to get on the side. Um, not I don't want to say the, but y'all y'all got to go outside and do some content together. Yeah, we're gonna do some content, and I also want to just thank you because I watch your style of interviewing and conversation, and I think that you're dope. I think that the fact that you could sit with different types of people, that's everything. Like, that mm-hmm. tells a lot about who mm-hmm. you are Thank you. as a media personality. Thank you. Um, and that, to me, you're, it's deeper than a podcaster. Right. Right. Everybody can't sit with everybody. That's true. And blend in. Right. Nope. You know, so. Everybody can't sit with us. Yeah. That's a fact. I appreciate y'all. Thank they can't. We out. And we out! Peace and love, world. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, support the channel, show your love. You know what I'm saying? We we have a great conversation week in and week out. You never know who's coming. You never know what we're going to do. But at the end of the day, it's all about peace and love. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment.